Hey folks, welcome to this week's episode. This week you're going to be joining me and my oldest son Mason as we take you on two exciting bow hunts in Ohio. So stay tuned, you don't want to miss this adventure. You ready? Well, here we are back up in the stand. It's the third day of the Ohio bow season. Temperatures have really changed. It's gotten really warm out. So, it's probably 90 degrees right now. So hopefully, you know, we had a lot of rain this morning. So hopefully the deer will get up on their feet this afternoon and feed a little bit and hopefully we can get on one. So, stay with me. Well, as you can see, it didn't take long. I wasn't in the stand very long, and I had a nice buck coming through this afternoon. Let's face it, since the invention of cellular trail cameras, patterning your target animal has never been easier. Unfortunately, with so many cameras hitting the shelves today, choosing the right camera to trust has never been harder. Until now, with Sniper's all new artificial intelligence technology, users are now capable of filtering out unwanted pictures while only receiving intel from animals they want to track. The decision on what camera to trust has never been this easy. Sniper. Are you serious? If you use your trail cam as a hunting tool for catching shots of the wildlife on your property or for security, you need Buck Finder. You don't have to look through hundreds of useless pictures anymore. Buck Finder can sort and search them for you automatically. It will even separate the bucks from the does. Now you can just click on the shots you want to see and skip the rest. 
forget organizing SD cards and wasting time on the computer. Subscribe today at thebuckfinder.com. Maximize your shotgun's performance with Kicks Choke Tooth. <laughs> Built with 17.4 pH stainless steel. Exclusive diagonal ports to improve pattern density. Performance chokes for hunting and shooting sports. Kicks get on target. Visit www.kicks-ind.com. Hey, welcome back from the break. Now let's get back up in the stand for my next morning's hunt. Crimson Talon Broadheads, I just can't say enough about them. I got the shakes right now, I'm shaking. It, it's, that, it's that adrenaline in me still, but, but yeah, it's, uh, oh man. Early October, here in Ohio, weather's changed, got the deer on their feet. It's, I think it's like 8.15 this morning. But I didn't think it was gonna happen, but Obviously it did, and I can't say enough about these crimson talons. If you're not shooting, you better get you some. Well, I just got down out of the stand. There's my stand right there. And like I said, if you aren't shooting crimson talon, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, it, it's crazy. This deer didn't go nowhere. You know, I made a hit her kind of high in the back, dropped her right there in her, you know, in her feet. I had to take a, put another arrow in her, you know, just finish her off, so. But yeah, let me show you. You know, there's my stand, and here is the deer. feet maybe 15 yards maybe but we'll go up here and take a look at her <clears throat> like I said you can see all the the blood and everything on the ground I mean it's crazy go up here I can see where the Hit her in the neck with the second one, just finish her off. But you can see, I mean, all the blood and everything. Yeah, she's a big mature doe, so. But yeah, so, like I said, you know, like I said, if you're not shooting Crimson Talon. I don't know what you're thinking because there's something else they're really really good broadhead so i'm gonna get her all taken care of here so stay with us i'm gonna get her out of the woods here and get hopefully get on a big buck now so well as you can see luck was on my side this morning on this hunt i harvested a really nice doe but stay tuned after the break we'll catch up with mason and see how his hunt goes 
country. It's not a place you visit, a station on the radio, or even a state of mind. It's who you are. It finds its roots in your connection with the land and the animals that live there. You go the extra mile and always give back more than you take. You put family first and sow seeds for the next generation to reap. You get up before dawn to see the world more clearly. That's country. Mossy Oak Breakup Country. We live and breathe waterfowl. From our warehouse to your tailgate, Rogers gives you the best price and free shipping options. If you're a serious waterfowler, Federal Black Cloud is the ammo that will never let you down. Every year, our customers choose Black Cloud as their number one premium waterfowl load. So if you want to shoot the number one waterfowl ammunition, go to rogersportinggoods.com. Rogers, gear for the serious outdoor enthusiast. your trail cam as a hunting tool for catching shots of the wildlife on your property or for security, you need Buck Finder. You don't have to look through hundreds of useless pictures anymore. Buck Finder can sort and search them for you automatically. It will even separate the bucks from the does. Now you can just click on the shots you want to see and skip the rest. Forget organizing SD cards and wasting time on the computer. Subscribe today at thebuckfinder.com. Hey, welcome back from the break. Now let's catch up with Mason and see how his hunt turns out. Hey guys, it's about 50 degrees here in Ohio. Figured it'd be a good morning to go sit. Um, it's looking pretty promising. A lot of movement, a lot of squirrels, goons walking around. about 40 yards and fell over. Oh, I'd like to thank Crimson Talon Broadheads, Aerotech, Arrows. <sighs> that was an awesome, awesome time.
got some real good blood. He's right there. Not even 20 yards from the stand. Crimson Talon smoked him. Look at all that blood on that arrow. size of that hole the crimson talon put in that deer. Well, we got into the stand a little late this morning. We couldn't find it in the dark. Sitting there for about uh, 10 minutes. Heard some bucks running around grunting. And, uh, and then I heard them fighting over here, over the over in the valley. And uh, this buck came in about five yards. And uh, he only went about 20 yards after I shot him. If you guys ain't shooting the Crimson Talon, you need to change up to them. They are wicked. I mean, just look at that hole, it's the size of my hand almost. He went 20 yards from the stand. Well, we got into the stand a little late this morning. We couldn't find it in the dark. Sitting there for about uh, 10 minutes. Heard some bucks running around grunting. And, uh, and then I heard them fighting over here, over, the, over in the valley. And, uh, this buck came in about five yards, and uh, he only went about 20 yards after I shot him. If you guys ain't shooting the Crimson Talon, you need to change up to them. They are wicked. I mean, just look at that hole, it's the size of my hand almost. He went 20 yards from the stand. This week's tip from the field, we're gonna join Jared Meyer AKA Ears, a vapor trail, as he tells us a little bit about the new rest that's coming out this year. Hey guys, Ears here with Vapor Trail Archery. Uh, just gonna introduce our new rest for 2020. It's called the uh, Gen 7X. Very, very similar to the Gen 7 from last year. We've just added in uh, the top and bottom limb activation, as well as micro adjust windage and, uh, and elevation. Um, also added in a bubble level. Uh, it will take the same exact cages that the Gen 7 did, so you can put whatever color you want on there. If you've already got cages, uh, different colors, you can add those on there as well. Uh, we also uh, changed the look of it a little bit. It's a lot sleeker. Um, strengthened up uh, a lot of areas um, while we were making it look a little sleeker. It actually just, just put a lot of added strength in there and all the testing we've done with it. Um, still weighs uh, just under 3.5 ounces, so still very lightweight. Uh, this here is the standard version. We'll kind of go into some setup on it. And I can show you how, uh, how to set it up off the bottom limb. Um, we will be doing some uh, bow specific uh, models as well like we did with the Gen 7. So we'll be working on Prime, Matthews, uh, probably Hoyt. Uh, the standard will fit a Bowtech really, really well. PSE, things like that. That's the standard version. Works very, very well. Um, so yeah, we're going to go over uh, setup on it a little bit and some other added features. And uh, it should be available around the uh, second week of January, uh, right around ATA time. You can get it from your local dealer. It is a dealer only item. so. 
go into your local dealer, ask for it, and they can get it for you. And uh, looking forward to it, it's been an awesome rest for us. We've been testing it for about a year now. Um, it's been all over the world and uh, it's been, uh, been very, very good for us. So if you have any questions, uh, just give us a call at the shop or you can email me directly, ears at vaportrailarchery.com. Thanks a lot. Okay, so we're gonna go uh, real quick setup on the Gen 7X here. It's very, very similar to the Pro-V or the Gen 7. Um, very, very simple to set up, but the Gen 7X does operate off a of lower limb as well. So I wanna go over that with you real quick. All right, so this is gonna be your lower limb adapter right here. Uh, that's just to go to the lower limb. If you don't wanna go to the lower rim, you just take these two bolts off and run it to the top limb just like you normally would. But in this, uh, in this example, we're gonna go off the lower limb. So you can run your activation cord up around the pulley here, just like that. And then this is a left-handed bow, so you'll actually go around your, your connection bolt there, you actually go counterclockwise. And if it was a right-handed bow, you would come down and you would go clockwise, but it's left-handed, so you're gonna go counterclockwise. And then what you wanna do is just pull up on that tag end, just like this, and as you can see, the launch arm will come into the down position as you pull up on it. So pull that, uh, Pull that tag end all the way up so the launcher's all the way down. And then you can take your Allen wrench and just tighten your bolt all the way. Just like that. And then one thing I can't stress enough is as far as the, the tension on the cord here, you want that only tight enough to hold the launcher in the down position. You don't want it any tighter. That's not gonna allow the, the launcher arm to drop faster or earlier or, or slower or later in the shot cycle. You want that only tight enough to hold that launcher in the down position, no tighter. All right, so basically as you bolt this on, you're gonna bolt it on just like any other rest, um, just right through the burger hole here. Um, we've got our level set here, so everything's level. The bow is level, the rest is on their level. Um, this is gonna be your elevation micro adjust. You pop this bolt loose, run your, uh, your micro adjust knob here for your vertical uh, micro adjust. And then as far as your windage micro adjust, you're gonna loosen this bolt right here. There's two different bolt settings. Um, and then you can run your windage micro adjust knob here. That's gonna get your left and right. Uh, typically for um, any of our rests, I always recommend running um, the arrow perfectly knock level. And as far as your, obviously your left and right goes perfectly, um, you know, perfectly centered there. That's, that's gonna be the best performance. From there, you're gonna make your adjustments on the bow. Um, so we do have two different bolt, uh, bolt patterns here, bolt settings. So you can take this bolt all the way out, uh, move the whole rest up or down, put it back in there so you can get even more windage or same thing on the elevation. Again, if you wanna run it off the bottom limb, you'll have the bottom limb adapter on. If you wanna run it off the top limb, you take these two bolts out, take this whole bracket off and you run it right off the top limb just like this. As you can see from Mason's hut, that buck that I passed up earlier a few days ago wasn't so lucky this time Mason didn't give him the green light and harvested a really nice animal. So thanks for tuning in this week. Make sure you tune in next week for another great adventure.